here. Hi, Ginger. <laughs> Hi, cutie pie. <laughs> <laughs> How's everybody doing? I'm so happy it's Friday. I know yes. every day of the week is kind of blends in from Wednesday. one to the other. Okay. <laughs> Say goodbye. I know you want to, she wants to curl up in her little blankie here. <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> anyway, it's so great to have everybody here with us. This is, we always say this, but it's so true. It's our favorite day of the week. Yep. Yay! <laughs> it is. So we, if you don't know who we are, I am Hillary Buholz, and I'm here with the lovely and talented Patty Quinn. Hello, and everybody. We are the co-founders of We Heart Hounds, and we like to pop in once a week and do a fun dog-themed craft. And it's really just in honor of our love of dogs. It might be recipes. It might be crafts. It might be who knows what, but it's just a fun chance for us <laughs> to get together and uh, do something, you know, with the, the dog theme. So, yeah. Yeah, that's what and doing. that's, that said, we've got a dog themed giveaway today. So, <laughs> yay, giveaway. We love giving stuff away. <laughs> so today we have this adorable little stamp. Uh, it's a little puppy paw print with a little heart in it. And we've used this on other projects. So you can go through our playlist and, and check that out. Uh, but thought this would be a fun little giveaway today. So in order to win this phenomenal prize, right? This <laughs> award-winning prize, um, heir, a family heirloom. This will be passed down from generation to generation. <laughs> um, just like this post, share this post uh, or video or wherever you're watching this. And please comment below so that we know that you shared it and liked it and you will be entered to win the random drawing and we'll pick a winner. Um, when do we want to pick a winner? Tomorrow? Uh, do you want to wait a couple days? Yeah, Let's I wait think a we can days. wait until next week. Give yep. folks a chance. Yep. Okay, we will wait. You've heard it here first. We're going <laughs> to do it until Friday. Next Friday, we'll, we'll announce the winner or sometime right around that time, we'll give you a heads up who's won. Um, but yeah, just like the post, share it. Uh, we love sprinkling the puppy love around. We just want as many people to, to have something fun to do and participate in our Friday crafts. And we do lots of other crafts throughout the week. So um, just want to let everybody know what, what kind of funds they're missing out on if they're missing it. So anyway, thanks for helping out. That would really be a big help. Yep, it sure would. So today's craft, we are doing a little bit of string art and it's a yep. dog photo string art. And so you can see we've got this started here. <laughs> and so all you need really are um, some type of backing. So I had one that I picked up at Walmart that's yeah. just a wooden circle. Yeah. And then I think you had scrap wood yep, available. I've got some scrap wood laying around just cut cut it down and then all you're going to do is um find a paw print so I just made one um I printed mine out on printer paper but you could freehand it if you want so just to kind of get the size of things and figure out how mm -hmm. big I needed my picture in the middle it kind of helped to uh print it out but if you freehand it same idea of just measure it out and figure out how big you need your picture. And then I used mine as a template so you can see my little nail holes <laughs> in it and then yeah. just pour it off once I once I had it down on there. So, so I, I have a question for you when you did mm -hmm. yours, did you tear the template off? Like did you put your nails in and then tear the template off? Or I've seen people that'll like poke a hole where the nails should go using their template, then they take the template away and then they nail the holes, nail the ho nails into the holes where they've kind of poked a little bit. No, I put mine down. I used some painter's tape and taped it down and then just nailed right in over the top okay. of my um, paper and then okay. I just pulled it up. I mean, it didn't okay. tear up too much, but I just, if you weren't being, I was trying to keep it a little bit put together so that I could show it, but you can just tear it off after you're done, you know, putting your nails yeah. in. So. Yep. That's okay. That's what I did. And it was all a sh shredded into bits yep. and pieces. So yeah. when I well, and yours it off, a bit smaller, so <laughs> yeah. it is. Yeah. I know. Yeah, it was hard. And the, our, my toes are closer together on my print. Um, but I was trying to find a paw print that was small enough, but then had a heart that was big enough to, sh you know, to show the picture on the inside. Yeah. So that's kind of some of the things to look for when you're yeah. finding, finding a, a paw print to use. 
So once you're starting, once you've got your nails in, and we'll kind of work on our last little toe that we have here um, and kind of show you the technique that we're using, but you can make them minor kind of sparse. Uh, you can make them more filled in or less filled in. Yeah. One of the minor. Things, a little bit. And I'm using I think your uh, twine is thicker. Yes, mm -hmm. thicker. Yeah. Yeah. One of the things to kind of keep in mind um, as you're starting out is uh, the background. So the background on my piece of wood was pretty light. And when I yeah. just had it, um, the white twine against that light wood, it just didn't show up very well. So I did kind of do a paint stain, just real light stain on the background to help that show up. But uh, the reason I mention it is if you're, there are different colors of twine that you could get, or if you need to, you know, kind of make the the wood a little bit darker to help it stand out. Um, that's one of the things to think about. Yeah, no, that's a good tip. That's a good and tip. Then, and I just stained mine yeah. and varnished it, so it was dark to begin with. Nice. Um, anyway, yeah. And then I just have some. I think it's polyester twine. Here. Okay, I'm using cotton. So yeah. And really all you do is just pick a nail to tie it down to. So got a nail here. And it goes and I kind of once you get it started. I kind of make my little knot first and then my little loop and then I can just put it on the nail and then tighten it that way. Seem to help a little bit. And then I've left my, I'll leave that little tail on there um, okay. and trim it at the end. So it okay. won't stay forever, but it just, you don't need to worry about uh, having everything perfect just yet. So okay. then all you do is just start crisscrossing around the little nails in, I do kind of a randomized pattern, but you could do it if you wanted to make it, you know, more symmetrical, you can. This is, this part is really kind of up to how you, you know, how you want that end product to look. Mm -hmm. I think the trick is just keeping it tight, right? Yep. Yep. And making sure that you hit all the nails, I think, is the other important part. So once you have the outs, the nails filled in, the other thing that helps to kind of define the pattern is to go around the outside of the nails. Um, so I'll kind of start and then pick this up so you can see it a little bit better. But you can see I've started to go around these three nails and that'll sort of make the outline around okay. this whole paw print. And that really does help to define the shape that you're creating. And I just loop it around the top here. And you can push your string down to give yep. you some room to loop around the top of that nail. So there, I've gone all the way around that little paw, and then yeah. I just tie it in a knot again there at the end. And I just make my knot and then put that loop over the last nail. To me, it just was the easiest way to. And then one of our last little embellishments would be alternating some colors here. Trim that up. 
Yeah, there's my little. Yeah, it's cute. <laughs> so then the it's funny because it looks like it looks like you went completely like random, and I think I just tried to fill it in as I went. Um, so it's interesting the different patterns what you can get, which is really mm -hmm. nice, really kind of neat. Yeah, and and like I said, you can you can definitely go fuller or you know less mm -hmm. and. You could have it trying to just do straight lines, however you want to do it. Um, I do think the kind of randomized pattern or just filling it in the way that we've both done is a little bit easier than, I think if you were going to try to really make it, you know, literally just straight lines mm -hmm. across, you really have to be careful about how many nails you've got, those like mm -hmm. to make sure that everything's going to come out symmetrical. So. This is a little bit yeah. easier, a little bit faster to just do it random. And I think it, yeah. I mean, I think the end result is really cute. Yeah, it is really cute. <laughs> so then our last thing that we're going to do is just do an alternating twine that'll go around this heart to kind of uh, help that stand out a little bit more. So I have some yep. just natural cord. I'm going to use the red here. Oh, pretty. Yeah, that'll really stand out. Mine's kind of just a dusty pink, so it might be a little oh, hard to see. That'll be pretty. I thought it'd be a nice rustic color. Yeah. Yeah. So, and I haven't used these ones yet, so we'll see how, because they're a little bit stiffer than the twine that I was using, so we'll oh, see how right. this works out. So, again, I'm making my little, make a little knot first. And if you go to the tutorial, you know, we, we do a write up um, for our crafts on our website. If you go to the tutorial, um, there'll be a video that kind of shows you also a little bit more how to do this. The technique of how to do it. Yeah. Yeah. So I think I'm going to have to use your technique for this one just because it's quite a bit stiffer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let's see. And I don't, did you do a colored picture or a uh, black I did a white? colored picture. Oh, okay. yeah, I did a colored picture. I did mine in black and white, but obviously either one works. And are you going in and out around the edge of the heart? So I'm looping it around and then I think I'll loop. Let's see, let's see if I can show. I'm looping around the nail once and uh -huh. then I think I'll go back in the other direction once I go all the way around. Okay. So you're looping around each one. Yep. Trying to decide. But yours is your twine is quite a bit thicker than mine, so you might not need to do that. Oops. I think I just, well, I don't know. I, so I went, oh, I went in and out, in and out around one side okay. and then came back around and did in and out, in and out the other side. And it's, it's still a little kind of pointy. It's not necessarily as smooth of a heart, but I, Think it works. The great part is you can undo it and yep. try a different technique. I mean, I did that a couple of times um, when I was working on my paw. Me too. So, well, and what is I yours? Realized that the um, that the background wasn't dark enough. I definitely, you know, took oh, out yeah. the strings that I had on there and yeah. did it again. So, How's yours looking? I'm just curious what your technique looks like versus mine. It's probably a little more straight. Yeah, it is. I think I'm going to do your technique. Although this one's kind of cute and definitely more rustic looking. I think I want to make the heart a little more uh, straight. 
have got one nail that it must be in a knot, so it's a little bit looser than all the others. <laughs> oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is uh, it's interesting. Your technique is really smooth. It's a much smoother look, more finished look, which is kind of pretty. So, and you're going to go back around the other way? You're going to do it twice, one way and then the yep. other? Or are you doing it once? Okay. So you, you can kind of see it a little bit more now. Oh, I've gone yeah, around yeah. one side and now I'm going back oh, okay, in, yeah. in the middle. Yeah, it looks like a double channel kind of. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Kind of looks like a uh, bike chain. <laughs> whatever yeah, it, it does. A bike, yeah, it does. Let's see if I can. I think I might it. just do mine. You know, I just do mine once. Yeah, mine is I so think small. Some yours is, and your uh, twine is thicker. I think that that yeah makes sense. Just once. Let's see if I can get a knot in here. <laughs> All right. So there is my Oh, that's cute. And I love your picture, Hulu and Leon. That's adorable. That is so cute. And I like that it's black and white. That really is neat. Yeah, it really I think it works well for, the, yeah, for this particular, for that picture and everything. It worked out pretty well. Yeah, it the does. black and white one. It does, it does. All right, sorry, I'm gonna I'm just about finish here. All right, everybody, now's your chance. Share, like the page, comment below that you shared for the giveaway. And if you end up making this uh, project or doing something kind of inspired by it, we would love to see how they turn out. So please, please, please share those with us or you know, tag us with uh, hashtag TDIF. We will find them. So we would really appreciate uh, seeing some of those creations that are out there that'd be really fun absolutely absolutely these are fun all right got my last knot in here drum roll <laughs> <laughs> these are really cute have you ever done string art before I this never is the first this. time yeah my first my first attempt at string art yeah me all me too so this i don't know my adorable. my pink is really light uh yeah, but it turned out cute. Our my little baby, our little ginger. <laughs> she is a perfect little so these are for a little ginger. <laughs> I know she's so tiny. <laughs> this is fun. This was a lot of fun. Thanks for the idea, Hillary. I love this. This was yeah. great. So really yeah. enjoyed it. Hope everybody enjoyed it too. Yep. Please and give it a try. And please uh, feel free if you're looking for other things to do or other crafts, dog inspired. We have a whole playlist full of tons and tons of ideas for you, recipes, all sorts of different things. So check those out. Or if you know somebody that you think would enjoy these, if you can share that with, share this with them, we would really appreciate that. It really does help us out um, to just get the word out and spread the love. So yeah, it really it. does. It really does. Hope everybody's hanging in there through this crazy time. Hopefully it's not so crazy. It's kind of starting to be a new normal, right? Yeah. <laughs> At this point. <laughs> but we we think we're thinking of all of you, hoping you're staying healthy, um, staying safe. Um, and we just want you to hug your pups for us. Yes. That would be awesome. Thanks so much. We'll see you Thanks, next everybody. time. Bye. Bye.